Yes, I also know that for some reason he did a video where he was wearing what he described as a Twitter suit. Those are little Elon Musk heads that he has down there uh, as a tie. It's his license, not his degree. Yeah, we need to find out. I kind of like the suit. Well, I actually really like this. This is dope. You know what? Scrap the whole segment, except for the part where we saw Jordan of Peterson's excellent Twitter suit. Okay, here we are starting again. Michaela Peterson, what's up? We had a great convo before I made you a Marxist. What's up? Psychologists, a bunch of people put in power by the government, basically, is threatening to take my dad's. That is how a lot of things work, yes. Psychology license because he's been criticizing the government. This isn't a joke. This has been torturing my family since 2018, seriously bullying my dad in a way that really caused everyone in my family. Jordan Peterson's probably being threatened with psychology license being revoked because of him engaging in unprofessional, unethical conduct that does not adhere to basic academic standards. Well, yeah, obviously. Jordan Peterson is a uh, psycho. Um, it's not just a matter of his conservative disposition. It's that he exists as like a, a an antagonistic force to the very field that he derives his perceived legitimacy from. You know, your your license isn't just some eternal guaranteed thing. If you act in ways that indicate you no longer deserve it, I mean, would any of you trust Jordan Peterson to practice psychiatry? Family, a lot of stress. I think it's part of what contributed to him being quite ill in 2019, 2020. The colleges are in charge of doctors, massage therapists, dentists. They've been around since about the 60s. And it turns out, which I guess isn't that surprising, they've been infiltrated by the government and now it looks like they're being used to control particularly conservative working professionals. Think you can trust your doctor to so talk- the, Again, like this is all the information you're ever going to get out of, of, of sycophants like this, right? I guess it's not really a sycophant if it's his daughter. The, like, yeah, uh, yeah, the actually the reason why uh, they want to revoke his licensing is because he's perfect and he loves puppies and rainbows and they're evil and they're Satan and they worship Moloch and they worship Satan. You know, I'm looking on my other thing. I'm looking away from her, which is what God would want you to do. And I'm looking at news articles and the vast majority of news articles that are talking about this are talking about it from like a First of all, there's very little info available. They're mostly just citing tweets. And second of all, a lot of these are like edge case, alternative or conservative leaning media. God, a Substack article shows up on the first page of the search results. What does that say about how much this is being talked about? Uh, here's from We Hunted the Mammoth. Isn't this Roosh V's website? This is the guy who complained that being a man is hard because everyone expects you to wipe your ass. And then he got into bread baking, but said, hey, I'm not actually baking, I'm a bread scientist. That's, yep, that's him. No, it's a satire site. Oh, no, is We Hunted the Mammoth the satire site? Oh, this is the site that catalogs that. Okay, okay, okay. Doesn't Roosh V have a site that sounds similar to this? It was like a mockery of him, right? That sounds like something you would say, there's no way it's not a joke, right? With Roosh V, the men's rights guy? No, that he all said that. Yeah, the guy who wanted to legalize rape. Return of Kings! That was the, that was the site that guy controlled. Yeah. Even this, I think, is just going to be like, Twitter citations. One time famously suggesting a critic kill himself. Jordan Peterson suggested a critic kill himself. I disagree based on the record of human behavior. We are already overpopulating this small world. Any arguments I heard for supporting such a large human population completely over huge loss of species and ecosystems resulting from our self-absorbed attention. You're free to leave at any point. Uh, I think that's fine. If somebody's like, bro, bro, Overpopulation is such a big problem. There are too many humans, and someone's like, "Okay, well, you can, you you have your life." You know, I I can't get mad at that. Whatever. Here's the Twitter suit, and that's it. Okay, we have no information on this at all. Literally, the only actual information we have on this is what came directly from Jordan Peterson, and he has every reason to misrepresent it. We have no information on this outside of the direct contact that he's had uh, with the institute. So. Not much can even be said. I'm fully in favor of the revoking of his licensure because, it, I, seriously, like, it, he, he builds his legitimacy off of Dr. Peterson. It's not just an incidental component of his character. It's 
he he fronts as a, a learned academic person, even if he has disagreements with that academia, when in reality, his behavior is completely incompatible with that of, uh, you know, uh, academia, um, his degree, the field in which he exists, psychiatry, broadly, human ethics, you know? I mean, w would you guys be that surprised if somebody who had a doctorate in, say, biology uh, or, or sports science went on to become like a quack or a, a, like a snake oil salesman, you know? And then they would like, uh, you know, uh, uh, get incredibly popular lying about this stuff and then eventually that came back to them. It's not surprising. It does happen, for sure. Like stripping nurses who are anti-vax of their license, TLDR. God, that's based. He's like the anti-vax guy who got their license. Yeah, having a license to practice medicine means that you have to abide by standards adhering to, you know, the, the guidelines of acceptable medical practitioner behavior. I don't think that's controversial. I mean, at least it shouldn't be. I don't think you can get an official doctorate that someone earned removed. Actually, you can revoke a degree. That is true. I'm pretty sure. A degree is basically just a certification from a university that you know enough on a subject to be given that title, right? You can, you can revoke that. React to this radical right anti-Jordan Peterson vid, Vosh. This is 31 minutes. Also, it's loud. Jesus. Oh, is this a Nazi anti-Jordan Peterson video? Jordan Peterson dismantled from Resurrection Europa. A documentary exposing Jordan Peterson's agenda to subvert and destroy the rising political right wing and neutralize European nationalism. There are a lot of Nazis who don't like Jordan Peterson because of, uh, you know, his, his nominal support for individualism and stuff. This is going to be a really dumb video. Any Nazi who doesn't understand that Jordan Peterson's rhetoric ultimately leaves, like, leads people to Nazism, probably not smart enough to have any reasonable critiques. Wait, this sounds funny. Okay, well, listen for like a minute. What is it? What do you got? God, I... Uh, I yep, don't yep. think that the Caucasians, let's say, should revert to being white. I think that's a bad idea. It's a dangerous idea. What the hell? It would be a hell of a lot better than the people do who are, you know, casual observers of it, because I've actually studied it. Starting it's, it's just it's just him talking. We're gonna get a voiceover. What exactly is Jordan Peterson's endgame? Tell me. It's been just over two years now since he first appeared on the scene. I also said I wouldn't mouth the words of the ideologically possessed, and that was with regards to gender neutral pronouns. At first, everyone thought he was just a brave university professor who had had enough of the cultural Marxist garbage that has taken over our society. This is the most I am 16 and I'm using my, um, my laptop microphone voiceover I've ever heard in my life that he'd snapped when the Canadian government announced it was going to legally mandate calling people Zim, Zer, and Z-Self. Peterson came out of the gate with some vicious rebukes That didn't happen, by the way. ...of the political left, and even called them what they are, cultural Marxists. But it didn't take long for Peterson to begin showing his true colors. Nearly at the same time he was thrust into the spotlight for defying the social justice clique at the University of Toronto, Peterson began positioning himself to evangelize a very specific demographic, young white males. What followed after fall- Hey, we've been talking about this. Oh god, I remember the Jordan Peterson beard era. ...fall of 2016 was a meteoric rise to fame at the hands of the mainstream media, which they made every effort to disguise as being organic. Soon thereafter, his mission became plain to see. Jordan Peterson's primary goal is to neutralize the political right. There are a large number of people who believe that Peterson is a force for good because he has criticized left-wing politics and cultural Marxism. However, what was his motivation for doing so? What was the straw that broke the camel's back and caused Peterson to go public with his objections to left-wing politics? Did Jordan Peterson choose to sound the alarm at any point during his decades-long career as he witnessed the cultural Marxist infiltration of academia transform hundreds of thousands of students? To be clear, when, when this person says cultural Marxist, what they mean is Jewish, just in case anyone here isn't that familiar with the... Uh... The language game. I'm just waiting for, like, the point. What, what has he done that makes him a traitor? ...into useful idiots? No, he did not. Did Jordan Peterson choose to alert the world to the danger of the cultural Marxist subversion of the world governments as he worked at the United Nations, helping them write a Marxist document that outlined their plans for creating equality of outcome inside of and between every country on Earth? 
No, he didn't. On the surface, it might seem like his primary concern was the If this guy ever says a word that doesn't seem like it makes sense, or seems like it might need explaining, or a term he doesn't define, he means Jews. ...encroachment on the liberties of freedom of speech. With his activism debut consisting of a YouTube video he published in the fall of 2016, where he expressed his refusal to speak the preferred pronouns of transsexual... Oh my god. Peterson's... Primary goal. Just get to what he did wrong. Western academia, the media, and governments by cultural Marxists was catalyzing a response by the political right. Part of the reason that I landed in the political hot water that I landed in last year was because I was increasingly aware that- Is there a double meaning to cultural Marxist? Cultural Marxism is a modern euphemism for the term cultural Bolshevism, which was a neo-Nazi, no, sorry, I keep saying neo-Nazi reflexively, Nazi conspiracy theory. The idea that the Nazis fronted was that, um, you know, you have the Bolsheviks over in Soviet Russia, sure, but you also have cultural Bolshevism, which is the slow, insidious creep of degenerate and nation-destroying information promoted through stuff like liberalism, human rights, blah, 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 blah. They called it cultural Bolshevism. They thought it was being promulgated by Jews in, uh, uh, in Germany. The cultural Marxism conspiracy theory is identical in every fashion, down to the point where they have a weird fixation uh, with the Frankfurt School of Thought, a, uh, a, a, an influential sociological uh, institute, which had a couple of prominent Jewish theorists, um, but they sure do emphasize that, as they do with Soros. It's essentially exactly the same thing, they just don't openly say Jews, because, you know, crazy woke left these days, you can't even get away with doing Jewish question posting. Look what happened to Kanye. That this process of polarization was going to take place and that the continual in my estimation anyways the continual clawing of of new ground underneath the radical leftist rubric especially in the universities is is starting to produce an extraordinarily dangerous counter position his analysis was that the policies and aggressive dogma being churned out by the political left were being done in a careless manner that was leading to what he believed would culminate in the political left being neutralized by the right wing this is the real reason why Peterson decided he needed to step onto the public stage. Not because he wants to dismantle cultural Marxism, but because he realized that the political left's current strategy for achieving their goals is in the process of backfiring spectacularly. What's going on on the left is... Oh, I see what the criticism here is. Basically, Jordan Peterson will very frequently do this. Ah, oh, well, I don't necessarily disagree with the left on this, but the way they've gone crazy and taken it too far is too much. So... This Nazi, who is again very stupid and not at all a positive testament to his bloodline, rather than recognizing that as a media-tempered dog whistle that Peterson can use to front a guise of centrism uh, while actually exclusively criticizing the left, he thinks it's actually coming from a, a desire to see the left do better. Um, yeah, very female-minded. He was 12 when this happened, give him a break. Yeah, you're right is a bit of a new twist. What you have is a coalition of different tribal identities that aren't large enough to marshal a force on their own, and so they're united, Got a fucking um, and headache. together they are a formidable force. But what's going to happen is that's, a, that's an unstable entity. At the point that that force gains power, it's going to come apart yeah. as internal yeah. dynamics rip it up. It's not capable of restraining the version that recurs on the right, the version that does manifest as, as uh, white nationalism. That version is stable because it does represent an actual population that has uh, an evolutionary basis for remaining cohesive. Jordan Peterson spent the last two decades of his career watching academia Young Peterson, incredibly cursed. ...become infested to the gills with Marxist intellectuals, watching as hundreds of thousands of students were radicalized by their propaganda, watching as their rhetoric and demands became more and more extreme, while he sat back idly and did nothing. Remember also... <laughs> Peterson! Where were you for your decades of at you you've dedicated your life from age sixty and onward to promoting far right politics? Where were you when you were fifty? Re yeah, okay. Let me move on a little bit. This isn't exactly a top game shit right here. Stratagem accuse whites of playing Marxist identity politics. Hmm. Accuse whites of playing Marxist identity politics. The person that linked you this is a Nazi? Well, that's fucking embarrassing. You- I know you're probably like 12. You got- dude, you are so many levels below me. Holy shit. You're like repping a 40 IQ critique of an 80 IQ guy. Like, 
I, I, dude, I feel like, I feel like I'm a, I'm a, a fisherman looking down at, like, the ecosystem of a coral reef and seeing the tiny little, like, sea cucumbers eat the detritus of the ocean and then the cucumber gets eaten by the, like, Jesus Christ. One of Peterson's most substantial achievements has been the instantiation in the minds of his followers the belief that Europeans working together to resist their collective dispossession and extermination- Yeah, the circle of life truly is beautiful. ...is no different than Marxist identity politics. Any concerted effort made by whites as a group to resist dispossession by progressive government policies or by mass immigration is condemned by- ah, there we go, bring it in. ...Peterson as being a manifestation of identity politics. The French intellectuals had to admit that communism was a bad deal by the, by the end of the 1960s. And what happened was that they they played a sleight of hand game in some sense. Wait, the French intellectuals most certainly did not do that. Okay. And rebranded themselves under the postmodern guise. And that's where identity politics came from. According to Peterson, identity politics are when a group identifies itself- Holy shit, that is the spookiest looking Marx I've ever seen. Oh my god. ...is being oppressed by another group, and demands that the group that is oppressing them give up their wealth and power for redistribution amongst the oppressed group. That's not- what? Marxism is when one group of people takes something from another group of people. Okay. I don't, I, don't, I don't know how we can go for like a Nazi's interpretation of Marxism, you know? It's like, I, I would lis listen to like a fish describe air. I don't even know if they can comprehend. Basically, this guy is mad because um, his, his central problem with the world is that there are people out there going, hey, black people are cool. Women are cool. Jews are cool. And this guy wants to say, whites are cool. And he gets mad that Jordan Peterson says that all of them are doing the same basic thing. Uh, Jordan Peterson is wrong. They're not doing the same basic thing. Cries for equality and liberation from the dispossessed are good. And cries for supremacy and domination from the oppressors are bad. Um, so Jordan Peterson is retarded. This video somehow manages to be doubly retarded. Because it, again, fails to understand that the equivocation Jordan Peterson is playing, where he draws a direct line between the advocacy for neo-Nazism and the advocacy for racial equality, is to the benefit of the far right, because it waters down the severity of their views and makes it seem like they have an equal claim. But again, he's not smart enough to realize that this is being done for his benefit. He's literally biting the hand that feeds him. You know, it, the funny thing is that this is the issue that I have with the left all the time, in that the left will screech and whine at any kind of rhetorical strategy that exists to its political benefit. I mean, I'm, I'm, having, I'm having this uh, this issue with the left right now, you know? I feel like we're dealing with a kind of low IQ singularity. And so they started to play a sleight of hand, and instead of pitting the proletariat, the working class, against the- Has JP explicitly said anything anti-Semitic? Um, he might have at some point, but no. By, by and large, he just does all of the rhetoric and conspiracization. That, that's his job. That's the whole point. He doesn't say the Nazi stuff. He just constructs an ideology which seamlessly fits with neo-Nazism, plays defense for all of the uh, arguments and all the logic that heads in that direction, and then, like, gets people in on what is essentially, like, the, you know, the Jewish question tier, like, all Western civilization and white people are under attack by a seedy cabal of intellectual liberals, blah, 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 blah. He just doesn't say Jews, right? That's the whole point. He builds 99% of the structure so that other people can finish it. Bourgeoisie, they started to pit the oppressor, the oppressed against the oppressor, and that opened up the avenue to identifying any number of groups as oppressed and oppressor and to continue the same narrative. I, I think I'm about done with this. What else do we have? White privilege? The unearned gift that's been granted to you as a source of personal pride in your accomplishments due to your skin. It's like, no, not good. Not a good argument. Just as the cultural Marxists do, Peterson likes to deconstruct the white race down to nothing more than the level of melanin in one's skin. <laughs> The other thing about the whole angry young white men thing is that my my angry young white men followers are a hell of a lot less much much like the left. Uh, Jordan Peterson doesn't have respect for the epic history and weight of my bloodline. His practically sacrilegious attitude toward <laughs> Jesus Christ.
angry and a hell of a lot less white than they would have been if they wouldn't have been following me. Because mm -hmm. one of the things, you know, I've had many, many letters from, from young men who've also said that they had been attracted to the, to the, you know, to the more dogmatic end of the, of the right, uh, more dogmatic right wing end of the political spectrum. And that listening to my videos has been exactly what's kept them more or less in the middle. Deconstructing whiteness, as the cultural Marxists call it. Okay, again, what Jordan Peterson is doing here despite expressing basically like 99% of the Nazi doctrine, is posing himself as a reasonable centrist in between moderate liberal progressivism and Nazis. This is exactly what Nazis should be celebrating because it puts them on an equal playing field. That way, Peterson gets to, with his millions of followers, gets to go, ah, look, well, maybe we don't agree with the Nazis or the woke left, but, you know, they're exhibiting the same kinds of behavior. And the woke left wants to, like, fund schools in inner city neighborhoods, and the Nazis want to do the Holocaust, too. That equivocation is to the benefit of the far right. That's the point. But this guy's too stupid to get it. He's too stupid to realize. He's too fucking dumb. They don't, they don't understand. They don't know. They're, oh my God. And every leftist is like this. Ah! Well, I think we have it. Very subtle. He's a golem that serves the tribe. Remember I've said before that Nazis will call literally anyone Jewish if they want to? A golem that serves the tribe. Jordan Peterson. Yeah, dude, totally. All the way back to the 12 tribes. Open borders for Israel. They'll also say every word other than Jew. Yeah, well, that's what that's what made Kanye so special. I really like Jordan Peterson's work, read his book, and watched tons of his videos, but I believe the fact he was born and raised outside of Europe made it nearly impossible for him to grasp the notion of European nationalism. What the f Is this guy an American? What the f is European nationalism? Have you been to Europe? Oh, yeah, dude. You think people in, 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 in uh, Slovenia... Uh, 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 England, France, Spain, Italy, and Greece are all like, yeah, dude, we're all Europeans. What <laughs> The nation of Europe. Euro dude, Americans love to do this shit, okay? American white supremacists will be like, ah, yes, Europa, we're a glorious tribe of whites once ruled the world. And then you look over at European white supremacists and it all looks like the... Balkans, dude. It's all guys with like 18 syllable last names screaming that the other one was like the rape child 50,000 years ago of Genghis Khan. And, and fuck, there's no, do you, they don't get along. <laughs> Isn't it like an American saying hello, fellow North Americans? It would, it's, it's unironically as stupid as saying something like, ah, yes, I believe in my Asian national pride. Asian national. It's like five billion people there. What the f are you talking about? What? Like, yeah, the I want to return the glorious shared ethnic ancestry of Asia. Sure, dude. Yeah. Whatever.